Hey YouTubers, that's one of my motivations for changing my lifestyle. That's my grandson Nova when he was baby baby. He would take it bath. And he is actually one of the motivations um, that's leading me to my decision um, that I am going to give up my apartment and be a car dweller. I'm gonna keep a full-time job in the beginning, I'm going to pursue my writing career, and uh, I'm essentially learning how to trust myself. And you know what they say, when you want to know if you can get along with a person, travel with them, well, I'm going to be doing that literally with myself. So I attempted to do that. Um, it's in August and I don't plan on doing that until December and my videos before this one says the same thing essentially that I am prepping and trying to prepare myself for when I finally can move in my car so I attempted to do it um, the other night and um, as they say I came I stayed and I crashed because I was lurking in my car with the seat pulled all the way back like I was doing something wrong, hiding from the security people, um, which weren't even paying attention to me. I mean, they didn't even know I existed. But then when I finally got the nerve up to climb in my back seat where I have my bed set up, um, the heat hit me. It was so overwhelming. I was laying there going, oh my God, oh my God, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I panicked. I jumped back in the driver's seat. I turned on the engine and bolted out of there with the AC flying. I mean, it was just blasting. I was, like, <sighs> I was just like, okay. At first I felt bad. I said, damn, I failed. And then I thought, no, I didn't fail. This is prepping. What I learned from that was I need a fan in a serious way. I need to figure out how to do this heat. This Southern heat ain't no joke. Um, and I need something that's going to cover my windows because I felt like somebody could easily uh, look in my window. I mean, I even scared myself. I thought somebody was at my window I was like, <gasps> and it was a shadow. It was my shadow moving in the car. Um, but I need my windows tinted more and I need a way to give myself privacy when I'm ready to just go to sleep. I am learning that um, through watching other people's videos that they make it's a common thread where they say, wherever you're going to sleep, once you get there, you get there well after dark and you sleep and then you get up and you leave before everybody else and you should have no problem. Um, so, yeah. So this is me documenting basically my process. I'm at my house and um, I'm going to be giving up my apartment. This is what my apartment looks like now. Um a little zen area over there and so yeah so this is Pam from trusting your process where I believe that we are guided from our higher selves and that we have all the answers and if we just sit still enough we'll be able to hear the messages and um, I feel like in my in my life I've gotten so complacent that I need something to shake it up so that I can really get in tune with myself again. And so, and this is my journey. I hope you will uh, enjoy coming with me. And uh, until next time, take care.